Aloha, this is Bear Wozniak. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Today, as my co-adventure guide, we have John Heinen. He is a professional trumpet player. We're going to talk about when the trumpets sound in heaven. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. And uh, so we're going to dig a little bit deeper. Can we backtrack now? We know you're a professional trumpet player. You've played at the yeah. Olympics. You've traveled around the world uh, uh, playing the trumpet, but you also are a trumpet for the Lord. Uh, talk to us about your uh, your path, uh, you know, your spiritual pedagogy, your journey. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to. And so uh, my spiritual faith has grown, but I mean, I was always cradle Catholic. So I always, grew up. Always uh, cradle Catholic? Uh, sorry. Still? I was, I was a heathen. You're getting kind of big. You're getting, I, you're getting too big I, to be in a cradle, John. <laughs> that's, that's right. And I was also a pagan when I was born until I got baptized. Uh, you know, <laughs> Horrible so, seven um, days. <laughs> <laughs> And so anyway, so yeah, since I've been baptized a Catholic and my parents did a great job, you know, bringing me to, uh, to church school and, and Sunday mass on Sundays. And so I was very blessed with that, but I really didn't start jumping into my faith until college. Right. I think that's very common for a lot of people. But t t tell me now, Amen. some more about the apostles. So conf you were going to confession and this was a big problem for your, your Protestant friends that you went to, went to, uh, that's confession. right. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, uh, and it was a lot of Protestant, it was a lot of Reformed Calvinists um, there at TCU. Um, and uh, so they, you know, they had their pillars of belief and the idea of, of confessing your sins, not, uh, you know, not in your room, you know, in prayer, uh, but actually to, you know, a man in persona Christi, the priest, um, is was so foreign to them that they thought I was crazy. Um, and Honestly, you know, through apologetics, I would go through scripture, right? Because that's the common ground that we could have, not with the atheist at Yale. That was a totally different ball game. But right. uh, with with my Protestant um, brothers, who um, many are still my close friends, uh, it was a lot of going to scripture. And when they couldn't respond to scripture and and the you know uh, the importance of confession they were just uh they would leave and they would they would lose and i was do you, ha do you like have this. one example or two examples of that, those scriptures are those still uh close um, to your, i know it's been a while so yeah it has been a while hey man i don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe, get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out.